For the origin of life, see a biogenesis. Biogenesis is the production of new living organisms or organelles. Conceptually, biogenesis is primarily attributed to Louis Pasteur and encompasses the belief that complex living things come only from other living things, by means of reproduction. That is, life does not spontaneously arise from non-living material, which was the position held by spontaneous generation. This is summarized in the phrase omne vivum ex vivo, Latin for, all life is from life. A related statement is omnis cellula e cellula, all cells are from cells. This conclusion is one of the central statements of cell theory. Biogenesis and abiogenesis The term biogenesis was coined by Henry Charlton Bastian to mean the generation of a life form from nonliving materials, however, Thomas Henry Huxley chose the term abiogenesis and redefined biogenesis for life arising from pre-existing life. The generation of life from non-living material is called abiogenesis and occurred through stepwise chemical and molecular evolution over millions of years. The term biogenesis may also refer to biochemical processes of production in living organisms. See biosynthesis. Topic: <laughs> Spontaneous generation and its disproof. The ancient Greeks believed that living things could spontaneously come into being from non-living matter, and that the goddess Gaia could make life arise spontaneously from stones, a process known as generatio spontanea. Aristotle disagreed, but he still believed that creatures could arise from dissimilar organisms or from soil. Variations of this concept of spontaneous generation still existed as late as the 17th century, but towards the end of the 17th century, a series of observations and arguments began that eventually discredited such ideas. This advance in scientific understanding was met with much opposition, with personal beliefs and individual prejudices often obscuring the facts. William Harvey (1578–1657) was an early proponent of all life beginning from an egg, omne vivum exo vo. Francesco Redi, an Italian physician, proved as early as 1668 that higher forms of life did not originate spontaneously by demonstrating that maggots come from eggs of flies. But proponents of spontaneous generation claimed that this did not apply to microbes and continued to hold that these could arise spontaneously. Attempts to disprove the spontaneous generation of life from non-life continued in the early 19th century with observations and experiments by Franz Schultz and Theodor Schwann. In 1745, John Needham added chicken broth to a flask and boiled it. He then let it cool and waited. Microbes grew, and he proposed it as an example of spontaneous generation. In 1768, Lazzaro Spallanzani repeated Needham's experiment but removed all the air from the flask. No growth occurred. In 1854, Heinrich G. F. Schroeder and Theodor von Dusch, and in 1859, Schroeder alone, repeated the Helmholtz filtration experiment and showed that living particles can be removed from air by filtering it through cotton wool. In 1864, Louis Pasteur finally announced the results of his scientific experiments. In a series of experiments similar to those performed earlier by Needham and Spallanzani, Pasteur demonstrated that life does not arise in areas that have not been contaminated by existing life. Pasteur's empirical results were summarized in the phrase omne vivum ex vivo, Latin for, all life is from life. After obtaining his results, Pasteur stated, La génération spontanée est une chimère. Spontaneous generation is a chimera. Topic. See also. Abiogenesis. Orthogenesis. Preformationism.